you know, I've played in a lot of university orchestras where the players have been students and professors from various departments of the university. And my observation has been that almost, almost entirely they've been drawn from the departments of mathematics or science or medicine or engineering. Only very rarely did I meet someone from English or history or languages. So it seems to be a genuine phenomenon that those with mathematical talent are, are, are drawn to music. And, and so how would we explain that phenomenon that mathematicians tend to be musical? Let's start by examining some of the similarities between mathematics and music. First of all, both possess a precision, a precision that is reflected in notation. Both mathematics and music can be written down in a precise not notation that is universally accepted. Now, it is this symbolism or notation that makes a page of a musical score and a page of a calculus book unintelligible to the uninitiated. <laughs> Secondly, I think it is fair to say that music is the most abstract of the arts and mathematics is the most abstract of the sciences. Of course, this is a very general statement. Music need not be abstract. Songs are not abstract. They relate to real concrete situations through the words of the song. And likewise, mathematics need not be abstract. It, of course, can be very down-to-earth and practical when applied to physics and other sciences. However, it is certainly true to say that both mathematics and music are capable of great abstraction. Neither Brahms Fourth Symphony nor the Prime Number Theorem have any direct connection with the physical world.